welcome to the first episode of uh, Becoming Awesome. Uh, that might not be the name of the podcast, uh, but I wanted to start. And what I want to talk about this first episode is starting something. There's a lot of reasons why we don't start projects that we want to get done. And uh, I wanted to share the top, well, not even the top 10 reasons, top reasons I came up with why people are hesitant to start whatever project uh, they're looking to start in life, whether that be a podcast or starting a new job or starting a new career or trying a new hobby. Uh, so I wanted to go through a list of 10 reasons why people are hesitant to start and not just people, why my, I myself would be hesitant to start. Uh, first reason, fear of failure. Uh, the fear of failure is also the, uh, the fear of looking foolish. And the fear of looking foolish is the cost of entry in anything that you do in life. The more you do something, the better you'll become. But you have to eventually be okay with sucking in the very beginning. Um, for one, this podcast, I don't even have a podcast name. I don't have a website. I don't have a podcast cover. Uh, I didn't buy expensive equipment. Uh, I just started. And yeah, this episode compared to episode 15 is going to look terrible. Uh, but you have to be okay with starting off sucky. Uh, so reason one, fair failure. Second reason, uh, uncertainty. A lot of people are unsure about potential obstacles and, uh, and basically which direction they're supposed to go in. This can paralyze you. When it comes to starting a podcast, you think, oh, I, you know, I didn't even shave. When I said I got this idea last night to start a podcast, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to start. I'm completely uncertain about what's going to happen, uh, but I'm certain that I'm not going to know what's going to happen. Uh, the uncertainty can also lean on fair of looking foolish. You, you're uncertain that you might look stupid or someone might think you're not good enough to be giving advice on a podcast. Uh, you're you're going to have to deal with the uncertainty. Be okay with looking stupid. Uh so number two is uncertainty. Uh, the third reason I would say is uh, a lack of confidence. I'm big on self-belief. Obviously, I changed my last name to awesome because I literally thought I was awesome. Uh, weirdly, it's free to think highly of yourself and it doesn't happen overnight. What's your internal dialogue like? That would lead to your confidence. If let's say you go grocery shopping, you bring, you carry your groceries up 10 flights of stairs, you put it on your kitchen counter, and then you realize you forget your phone in the car. In that moment, how kind are you to yourself? Are you like, hey, I forget my phone sometimes, no big deal. Or are you like, oh, you idiot, you forgot your phone. It's like this internal dialogue will help your self-belief. So if you begin to speak to yourself in a more positive way, uh, you become more of a positive person and get more stuff done. Uh, so number three is a lack of confidence. Number four Weirdly, uh, this is outside confidence, a lack of support. A lot of us have a lack of support. Uh, the absence of encouragement is very difficult, especially if you're not willing to encourage yourself. Uh, and a lot of us are hesitant to get started because we don't think other people think we should be getting started. I can't remember who, who said this quote, but... Uh, I'm not what I think I am. I'm not what you think I am. I am what I think you think I am. I'll figure out who did that, who did that quote. Uh, but such a powerful quote because a lot of us, a lot of time we, we internalize what we think other people are thinking. And then we realize other people aren't even thinking about us. So many people are afraid to start their first podcast episode. And the reason why I'm not is... No one's really going to be watching this. No one's going to pay attention to this. We put a spotlight on ourselves that isn't real. Uh, and let's say this podcast does pick up. I want to show how terrible the first podcast is compared to podcast 20. And I have to expose myself being vulnerable for that to happen. So yeah, I don't have a great background. I don't have a fancy mic. I don't even have headphones on. I don't know why they wear headphones. It's just me talking. But these are obstacles we put in front of ourselves because we don't feel like we're getting the support we need. We think, oh, I'd get my podcast started if, if, if I was sure my followers on social media would listen to my podcast. But why, why should they listen to your podcast? You aren't good at podcasting. 
you still have to get through your sucky phase. So yeah, you don't deserve, you don't deserve it yet, but continue to put in the work and you will. Uh, number five, being overwhelmed. Uh, some projects seem big and complex. Of course, a podcast could be simple, but you could complicate things. You could say, I want a nice podcast setup. I want fancy cameras. I want microphones. I want multiple angles. You can make, you can make things overwhelming. My best advice to you is get started. Imperf imperfect, I do words for a living. Imperfect, imperfectedly and done is better than perfectly undone. Uh, yeah, so strip things down, make it as simple as possible for you to get started. Uh, another issue that I find that people have, uh, and I do not have, obviously, because I didn't even shave for this podcast or get correct lighting, uh, perfectionism. perfectionism. Uh, yeah, setting unrealistic expectations for your project. Like, this is my first podcast. I don't expect screens to pop up. I don't have ads. I don't have the great equipment. I don't care if it's perfect. I just need it to be done because I'm going to improve from podcast one to podcast 20. But if I never release podcast one, I'll never get to podcast 20. And a lot of people will never become as good as they can be because they're waiting until they're that good to start. Start while you suck. It's the best advice I can give you. Uh Number on step seven, number seven, uh, a lack of resources or a perceived lack of resources. Uh, and what that could be is a lot of people think, okay, for me to start a podcast, I need I need the lighting, I need the cameras, I need, or to, to, to start a new career, you need to know all of the information before starting. I'm here to tell you, you don't need to know all the information because you will never learn all of the information. And when you learn enough information, you'll eventually learn more. Uh, so the best thing you do is just get started. Uh, and the idea of a lack of resources, there's there's a lack of resources. You can record a podcast from your phone. Uh, you don't need great audio, obviously. You don't have great audio of this podcast if you're listening. Uh, and also the internet is a great resource. If you're looking to start a nonprofit or start a business or going a different direction in life, look online for these resources. There are tons and tons of free resources, not to mention so many grants out there to be able to help you. There are a lot of resources out there, but because you aren't familiar with them, you don't think they exist. Dedicate some time to finding out those resources. Uh, and another thing you do is ask. Ask, that's what social media is for. Make a social media post and say, hey, I'm looking to do this thing and I'm, I'm, I don't know how to get started. A lot of us are afraid to ask how to get started. Don't be afraid to ask. Uh, so number seven is a lack of resource. Number eight, time restraint. You might have a busy schedule, other commitments, and you don't want to take on this new project. So I would say... Uh, Objectively, look, we all have the same 24 hours. And I know there's someone in everyone's life who they have the same 24 hours as everyone else, but you're like, how is this person getting so much done in their 24 hours? Uh, so I, I would say take an objective assessment of the way you're spending your time. A lot of us talk about we don't have time. Go to iPhone, pull up your screen time or whichever phone you got. If you don't have an iPhone, get one. Uh, screen usage. Actually, I don't care what phone you have, but pull up your screen usage. See how much time you're spending on, on these apps. See how much time you're spending on your phone. Uh, can you not dedicate 30 minutes, an hour to whatever it is you're, you want to pursue? Because if you don't do that now, you'll just continue doing whatever you're going to be doing, right? whatever you're doing right now for the next three years. And in three years, you'll look back and say, oh, I wish I had more time. We all have the same time. You have to prioritize your time and see what you're doing with it. And no one can make you do that other than yourself. Uh, so number eight is uh, lack of time or, or perceived time restraint. Uh, number nine, unclear goals. Uh, a lot of us want to get projects started. And when, when someone wants to get a project started, my, one of the first things I ask them is, 
why? Why are you doing this? What is your purpose for doing this? I'm starting a podcast. What is my purpose for purpose for my podcast? Uh, honestly, not exactly sure yet. This is a part of the uncertainty, but I'm a starter. So I started the podcast. I'm hoping to get content from it. Uh, I'm hoping to build followers. I'm hoping to promote other things from it and build a platform. Uh, and first I have to get started. No one's listening, but these are the things you have to do. The work you have to put in when no one's looking. Of course, anyone will want to do a podcast when they have millions of followers already built in, but are you willing to grow to that point? Um, so what's your goal? One of the big things in boxing, when, when someone tells me they want to be a boxer, I said, okay, two questions. Question number one, what do you want out of the sport? Uh, some people want money. Some people want to just beat people up. Some people want to be in great shape. Some people want to win nationals. Some people want, might want to win a state championship. Some people just want to box for a sustainable community. You say you see the same people all the time. You hang out. That's what you, but you need to know your goal. The second question I ask boxers, because boxing is a very difficult sport, takes a toll on your body is what's it going to take for you to leave the sport? So, okay. Have a goal set for why you're getting into something. And also have a have an exit goal. Uh, maybe you do a podcast, you do it for five, six years, and you realize, okay, this is not the path I want to go anymore. It's not quitting. You just decided to stop because it's not serving you anymore. Uh, but you need to set some clear goals about the objectives that you have. Uh, it's going to be impossible to begin if you don't know where you're going. And for me, I'm just going to start. And I think that, that should be the, the phrase in your mind. Your goal is to start. Uh, so that was number nine. And number 10, which is a weird one. Uh, and I, I see a lot of people struggle with this. The fear of change. Uh, the fear of change, that's a big one. There are people who've been doing the same thing for years and they're not seeing anything different. And when I propose to them, hey, consider doing something completely different, drastically strange to what you're normally doing, because what you're doing is a formula and a, and a pattern that's getting you to where you are right now. And you're not where you want to be. And if you're not where you want to be, you're going to have to change something. Uh, the hardest thing to change is yourself. Uh, it's hard to change yourself. It's hard to change your habits. And starting a new project involves change. And the change also entails commitment. Uh, let's, you know, what? let's throw number 11, a bonus. Uh, number 11 will be commitment. Uh, we are afraid to start something because a lot of people think if I start this, I'm going to have to do this for the rest of my life. Don't overthink it. I might start this podcast and might be done by episode seven. Uh, but the important thing is to start because then you figure out where you want to go next. It doesn't need to be a lifetime commitment. Uh, I see people who, who they go to Chipotle and they think it's, they make the order into the biggest thing in the world. And they're, they're thinking about all these decisions really to end this. I'm just saying it doesn't matter. All the things that you're thinking about that matters for you to get started doesn't matter. Uh, and I would like to be a testament of that through this first episode. Uh, yeah. And by the way, I, I started this podcast with no actual podcast. I'm just doing a video. I'm going to throw it on YouTube. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to start. Uh, so these are the 10 reasons and a bonus reason uh, why we're afraid to start new projects. Uh, and I want to just let you know that it's okay to have an imperfect start. Sometimes the best starts to start with no expectation. Uh, yeah, this is uh, becoming awesome. I don't have a sign in or a sign out yet. We'll eventually get there with time. Uh, but I just wanted, I wanted to send people to this podcast, uh, in the future, the first podcast and imperfect start just to show things don't need to be perfect to get started. You don't need to know where you're going to turn the key in the ignition or push start. Anyway, uh, I will tell you to like and subscribe and do all the things that other people know do, but you, you kind of figure that part out. Uh, if you're listening, I appreciate the listen. If you're listening in the future, after I have a bunch of episodes, ta-da, I did it. You can do it too. All right, guys. Later.